Welcome back guys. Today we're talking about Fastly, which just reported its earnings after hours and it's down 17%. Um, in my opinion, I think this is a total overreaction and it's actually because the CFO of the company is leaving after 10 years of working there, but he will stay there until a replacement is found. So the CFO's name is Adriel Lairs. And to be honest, I've seen this happen many times with stocks and they say that the CFO is leaving, they drop around 10%, but eventually they recover and it's not really a big deal. If a CEO leaves, yes, it's a big deal and it depends uh, on who the next leader of the company is actually. But the CFO, not too much, guys. The CEO, the CEO is more important, but the CFO, not as much. And they also gave a bit of weak guidance for Q2. Uh, of 84 million to 87 million and the consensus was around 91 million so it is a bit lower however the full year guidance they actually increased it uh, above the consensus uh, consensus to around 390 million uh, at its maximum and what we saw here was that they missed their eps by one cent over here and their revenue was also missed i believe I'll have to find those figures again. But basically what I'm trying to say is it's the market that we're in that it makes this stock plummet 16%. If you were in a normal market, trust me, this would be down 5%. But we're seeing companies even beating their earnings like Corsair Gaming, Apple, Amazon, beating AMD, beating their earnings and they're falling. So imagine companies that are not beating their earnings and they're falling. Um, I, I just saw Uber's earnings. Those are great earnings and they're falling as well. So basically everything's falling falling 17 percent is pretty much unjustified i don't own any shares in fastly today but i might be adding it tomorrow with market open or if this goes around 20 to 25 percent definitely more so i'll be slowly adding tomorrow uh, when the market opens uh, one more thing about this i remember kathy wood was adding this a lot uh, and it had some issues back here uh, due to tiktok as it was one of its customers and TikTok was kind of being banned from the US, but that seems to be gone by now. And I remember it also came on CNBC where Jim Cramer recommended it uh, at around $70. He said if it comes to $70, well, it's a good buy. And now it's at $48. So a bunch of people on stock Twitch is saying that this is going to go to 30. Maybe it goes to 30. 30 is a great price, but biting off at 48 just seems so tempting to me. And uh, this was always around 20 and the pandemic actually boosted their revenues. So it will be pretty interesting to see from Fastly and how it reacts to uh, the earnings tomorrow morning. And I'm pretty excited to see. I might make a, a catch a video on Fastly, but that'll be it. This was a quick short video and I'll see you guys next time.